India is full of micro, small and medium enterprises. And one of the biggest categories of business owners who are falling in these categories are manufacturers and traders. But unfortunately, because of lack of systems, manufacturers and traders are not focusing on growth of the business, but just daily firefighting in day to day managerial activities. And even after that, they are not able to manage the business efficiently. And in this lesson, I'm going to share with you if you're a manufacturer or if you're a trader or if you have somebody in your network, what are the challenges that manufacturers and traders are facing and what are the solutions which you need to implement to systemize your business? So let's go ahead and start learning. So business automation for manufacturers and traders. So before I start, I want to ask you, are you tired of delayed orders? You know, you get so many orders from your clients, but because of lack of you know systems in operations, because of flow management system, because of the you know order tracking system, you lose the track of your orders. And whenever client calls you that what is the status of my order, you actually get in a difficult situation. And you call your employee, ask them what's the status, and they also have no idea. Then you call somebody in your uh, factory, and then finally you get to know that this is the order. And then you update, update your client, and your client gets furious because that order is already delayed. So what you need you need a flow management system to you know track all your orders and all your projects and until unless you track your orders through proper systems uh doesn't matter how hard you try you will first of all keep micromanaging your you know operations uh, your orders manually and most of your orders will be delayed now i want to ask you are you tired of poor team performance as well understand alone you can go fast but together with your team, you can go far, right? So a lot of business owners have that, this mindset that my employees, I'll just give them the work, they will complete and I will be taking all the ownership of business management of growing the business. And because of which they never provide the systems and the solutions which their team requires to complete the work on time through which their team can get the proper reminders as well and the business owner can track each and every employee's performance and because of which every other business owner is facing this challenge that whenever they deliver or delegate not deliver whenever they delegate any work to the employee or whenever they define any key responsible activities like daily work weekly work or monthly work or fortnightly work their employees do not complete the work on time and you know what we have found out that the reason is that there is no task delegation system there is no tracking system and there is no reminder system because of which employees also forget you also forget so your team also can forget to complete the assigned work and sometimes you also forget that you had assigned some work to them and you keep shouting at them and you know they just keep uh, just playing around things right so third thing i want to ask you right now are you right now facing challenges in this area low sales conversion yes you're getting some inquiries from your referrals from your clients but where are you managing those inquiries is it just on diaries or on whatsapp or on excel file now until unless you track your inquiries stage by stage how many inquiries are into the lead stage how many inquiries are into the proposal stage how many inquiries are into the meeting stage how many inquiries are into the negotiation stage there is no way you can remember all these inquiries and your, your team can you know, take the follow-ups all the time so because you don't have any this kind of system and you're managing everything on excel files because of which you're not able to manage and maintain your inquiries and because of which first of all you're not able to categorize them and then you're not able to plan your follow-ups when to take the follow-up from which client now grant cardone is one of the biggest sales trainer in the world and he has said that when you take the first follow-up the conversion rate chances are only two percent when you take the third follow-up the conversion rate increases to only five percent and 80 percent the conversion of your prospect to client lies in between eighth follow-up 
till 12th follow now because of lack of crm and follow up tracker system almost every other business owner and their employees they stop the follow ups at second or third times and because of which they lose the prospects and prospect goes to somebody else because prospect might not have the requirement today but might have the requirement 3 months after but you do not take the follow up they also forget about you and they go for the new person right now i want to ask you as a manufacturer or a trader are you facing challenges in your inventory management your raw material your finished goods they are already lying in the warehouse and there is no tracking of the same your employees end up ordering the same material which is already lying in the warehouse uh, from the new vendor again and after a week of two weeks you get to know that okay this was already there and you just wasted your cash flow your money on buying it new right and after a few months you just uh, some of the material just keep getting wasted because of the expiry date so you need to have a proper inventory tracking system which is not built on very complicated erp softwares very expensive ones simply on google sheets and google forms you can manage all of it now i want to ask you as a manufacturer or trader how is your cash flow how is your cash flow you know i ask a lot of students of my, uh, mine that are they even tracking the gross profit are they even tracking the net profit are they even tracking the account receivables account pay, uh, payables because of you know lack of finance knowledge and because of you know lack of systems to track the finance and numbers business owners just forget about it and one day they go to the office or the factory and they get to know there is some problem going on there is some fire fighting going on at the end of the month they get to know that yes they did a good business but almost every payment of theirs is pending understand the payment from the client might be pending but your expenses to your employees including salaries office expenses they cannot delay so that is the reason you need to have a system where you can send automatic payment reminders as well right i want to ask you are you not able to keep track of revenue upcoming business expenses or overall cash flow so another biggest challenge your business owners face is poor cash flow right now i want to ask you as a business owner right are you really growing your business are you really investing your time in growth oriented activities or are you just frequently far farting with your teammates clients and vendors on those activities those tasks which actually can be systemized right when it comes to the google technology using google keep you can you know manage all your notes using google forms you can capture all your data on google sheets you can manage all your work using google data studio you can have all your reports coming up right now I'll show you on how can you get rid of all these problems in some time now let's talk about the next problem working hard but not getting the desired results as a business owner you know 8 years back when i started my entrepreneurship career i was a people driven business owner i used to think that if i'm good at my work okay i can run the business efficiently but i was really incorrect i was you know completely wrong because when you're running a business you're not only managing yourself but you're managing your clients your vendors as well as your employees now because of lack of systems i was working hard but i was not getting the desired results and always i had this feeling that okay as an entrepreneur actually you need to work 10 to 12 hours a day but then i used to wonder that okay if i'm working 12 hours a day why am i not getting the results which other companies other competition is getting right and are you also feeling the same now last question which i want to ask you when it comes to the inquiries first of all there is difficulty in converting them convert converting them because of lack of crm and follow up tracker but i want to ask you are you actually getting inquiries or not if it's just dependent on your referrals from your clients then you're sitting idle waiting for somebody to give you the referrals that's not how you scale your business you need to have systems via which through digital marketing through facebook through youtube through linkedin through your common network which is which might not be even your clients from there from them how can you generate humongous amount of inquiries yes it is all possible now let me share with you the solutions which you need as a manufacturer as a trader to systemize your operations and to scale your business managing everything in dire operations working only 1 hour a day through mobile the first thing you need is data masters understand when we talk about any systems uh, any automation automation include three steps data collection 
data management and business reporting now as a manufacturer and trader a lot of us are just managing everything on either diaries or simple excel files and on excel files there are so many of spelling mistakes there's so much of data entry you know uh, mistakes which our employees do and a lot of them delete the data a lot of them do some, a lot of spelling mistakes somebody's writing gurgaon somebody's writing gurugram somebody's writing mumbai somebody is somebody's writing bombay for you these are two different cities but for excel due to spelling mistakes these are four different cities so because of corruption in data collection neither business owners are able to manage their data forget about business reporting so first thing which you need as a manufacturing trader is data masters right so you, whatever orders you have you need to have a clean google sheet with details of all the orders your raw material your finished goods you need to have sku based uh, item masters as well how many clients that you have served past many years you need to have a unique database of all your customers so that you can stay in touch with them and you need to have a vendor master as well no business can become system driven without organizing your data now how can you create the data masters simply by creating the onboarding forms on google form whenever you onboard a new order you can have a onboarding form of new order new order generation form google form where whatever entry you want to make you create the questions in google form you fill it and automatically in google sheet you keep creating the unique order masters the same way in item masters whenever you have a new item as a finished good or raw material you have a item master you keep creating that whenever you onboard a new client you have a client onboarding form you keep you know take all the details of the client their name their number their company name their gst number their you know location and couple of other things and then vendor master as well so this is the first step second thing which you need are these you need to have lead tracking system first of all which we may call as crm now what if i tell you that using google sheets and forms you can actually track all your inquiries and google calendar can remind you when you need to take the follow up with which client yes that's possible and using google applications you can manage your inventory as well and your team management as well the first thing which you need as a business owner is lead tracking system then you need inventory tracking system to track your raw material and finished goods and then you need a task management system to manage your team so that there there are day to day responsibilities without you becoming a cfo without you becoming a chief follow up officer and running after your team your team gets daily reminder from system and when they complete the work on the google sheet report you get to know how much work has been completed and how much is pending and after that order tracking tool to track all your orders or projects and then finally payment tracking and reminders tool what are payments you receive you fill it in the system and through just system just on one click you are able to send automatic payment reminders to your clients and you are able to collect it on time now after these tools you need these systems as well you need a proper sales report to show you the daily weekly monthly report right top running customers top selling products right and then your top performing sales people as well region wise city wise all these reports you need and in google sheets just in drag and drop in just few clicks without any formula and without any coding you can create it the same way you need order delivery report customer service report why do you need customer service report now one person can help you to scale your business in 2019 i was just uh, you know working out of one city we were delivering business automation trainings and systems just from one city in india because of systems and because of the amazing support we gave to our students our business owners and the kind of results that they could never imagine they got and they started showering the referrals and networking and so many things to us and that that's today while you know i'm talking to you we have Uh, our students clients in seven countries in just one and a half years from 2019 to 2021 were able to scale to seven countries so customer service is important and how do you give us good customer service by systemizing it instead of customer calling you whenever they having challenge you are busy you are not picking up the call you have a customer support form whenever customer have any challenge they fill the form and there is a customer support ticketing system okay your employee call the client and already has the you know problem which client has filled the form and resolve that and you know client is happy now if i ask you when you buy any product from amazon or flipkart if there is a problem in the product you do not call the owner of the amazon or flipkart right you go to the website you fill the form and in couple of days the uh, query gets resolved but amazon is amazon today because when the jeff bezos started that company he had the system driven mindset he knew that Uh, whatever i'll create i'll think long term right and 
he came out of the comfort zone and he started you know building a business which can run on its own without depending on him or any other employee right so you need to have a customer support system then you need to have quality check reports and inventory report as well and all these reports will come from these systems itself and now you're wondering cable all this is really awesome and i want to uh, implement all this so how can i do it now before i tell you on how can you do it i recorded this lesson so that i could make your why really clear why first of all you need to become system driven the reason you need to you know systemize a business you need to understand that the entire world is system right you look around everything is upgraded right you used to use telephone now we have smartphones right we used to have black and white television now we have android television right we used to have just desktop computers now we have laptops right so everything is upgraded but as a business owner we the way we are running the business is completely outdated so why we need to systemize the business first of all is to increase the efficiency to increase the productivity and in less number of resources you are also a resource your employees are also a resource in less number of resources giving the maximum value to the clients second why we need to systemize the business as a business owner we really need to relax we really need to chill out because of lack of system we are working 10 to 12 hours a day and still nothing is changing so when we are not having any systems we are actually not a business owner we are actually a self employed person who are giving salary to the teammates bringing some salary to us at home paying some emis and just chilling out that's not how you run the business read a book called e myth written written by michael e gerber who is one of the biggest uh, you know uh, biggest disruptor biggest contributor to the, to the sme sector in india and he says in india and abroad as well he says 90% of the business owners struggle because of lack of systems now i hope i have made your why clear now how can you implement all this right how can you systemize your business now what if i tell you that you do not need to spend lakhs of rupees on expensive erp or you know crm softwares to implement all this and you do not need to you know hire a third party agency giving them few lakh rupees per month to implement all this right and you also do not need to become the master of technology to learn coding and everything what if i tell you that you just need to devote 30 to 40 minutes a day that's it 30 to 40 minutes a day to learn how to how to build systems and in 8 weeks you become system driven now how can you do this uh, i'm inviting you to my exclusive master class okay which is happening this sunday you can check out the link on the description of this uh, video uh, or you can open this link called kevel.co/live and i show you everything which you need to actually get freedom from daily firefighting and systemize your business now i'm wrapping this you know uh, lesson with by saying this that business is built on two things people and systems and once business owners do not have systems and they are people driven they are not running a business they are running a circus okay shift from being a circus shift from those 90% of the average average business owners to smart business owners owners by systemizing your business and in this you know in two hours of master class i'll show you that how as a non technical business owners how how as a non technical business owner how using google applications like form sheets you can systemize your business and can get can get the freedom from daily firefighting and can actually scale your business so with that i'm wrapping up this lesson i hope you loved it i want you to you know click on the subscribe button as well and uh, share me in the chat box in the comment box what was the biggest uh, takeaway and i want you to share this lesson with all your manufacturers and traders friend as well and help them out see you keep learning keep automating and keep scaling kevel kishan your business automation coach helping you to scale your business in easy way